It was one of the most incredibly productive months I've had in my life. I would come back here in a heartbeat if uh, it were possible. It's a wonderful community and a wonderful, beautiful, uh, naturally beautiful spot. In the first four days, I was sort of immersed in work in a way that I haven't been in months, maybe a year. I'm writing a book. And um, after that, there was a, a sort of brief crash into the wilderness in which I kind of swam and explored. And this is a great place for that. I've done two fellowships at the McDowell Colony, and this is my first time at Birdcliff. And it's rustic, but it's inspiring. Hi, I'm Catherine Berger, and I am the director of the Artist in Residence program at Birdcliff. Uh, the Birdcliff Art Colony is in Woodstock, New York. It's set in a compound that was built in 1903 by an industrialist, uh, the son of industrialists, Ralph Whitehead, who turned against industrialism and became a, an advocate of the arts and um, the arts and crafts movement. And he built about 30 beautiful buildings. We accept uh, 10 people per month four sessions a summer, a season. So we're in, in session from June through September. Uh, in those ten people we have usually five visual artists and five writers. That's depending on the kinds of um, studios that we have. We basically have five to six uh, writing studios and five or six uh, visual art studios. It took a couple days to actually uh, get, to get into my project, but by the time I did it was I could not believe how much it kind of flowed out of me. The thing that was very fun about it was that it was the first time since grad school that I was able to like um, be with a bunch of creative people. And so that was really good, just knowing that, having that sense of community. But this was a really very good experience, just with the people and the place. I'll remember it for a very long time. Being able to be here to do other things without being distracted from it was a real uh, is a gift. I came to Birdcliff from Brooklyn, so um, some much needed um, time and space to really, um, you know, focus on my work and engage with it in a really kind of a deeper way than I'm able to at home. Unlike some art colonies, people here are responsible for providing their own meals, and this can really be wonderful because you get some terrific cooks coming here. And it's usually something really wonderful at the end of the day. You've been in your studio all day, you know, you're very isolated and you're in that imaginal realm and then you break and there are all these fascinating people who are sort of your peers. And people make wonderful meals. In fact, I'm putting together a cookbook of some of the great recipes that come out of here. We have a big kitchen and we have a wonderful porch where most people eat if the weather is good. And everybody, of course, cleans up. The Community of Fellows is, um, it, it's been, it's been a really friendly and collegiate group. I, I was surprised at how important the community dinners were and just time on the porch talking about work and life, going swimming. I don't know that the community has been a part of my work per se, but it's definitely been a really sort of enormous push into trying to make good work and honest work because the people that come here are focused in a way that um, I've seen in other residencies, but it's definitely, it's definitely a community of people who are sort of less inclined to be running around and having affairs or goofing off than it is with people who are seriously here to kind of work and do. I know a bit about the history of this place and it was chosen as a place to work from many, many places all over this country. Um, the founder of the colony looked everywhere and picked this spot and it does have kind of a magical uh, Feel. You know, you hear the owls at night, you hear the coyotes, and the birds up in this particular edge of the forest are really different than the ones down lower in the valley. And it's very, very quiet. You don't hear traffic. So it's a very great place of contemplation. I've really enjoyed that a lot. What was the most striking thing to me is 
that the conversation that the writers would have and the conversation that the visual artists would have were so similar. And I thought that was really interesting. Um, they deal with the same issues, the same problems, the same um, struggles and concerns in their work um, that we do as visual artists. So it was just, it was striking to hear those problems and to be able to work through them with somebody who doesn't exactly work in the same medium. I've been here a week, but I've also spent many months here. And um, I used to say as a songwriter, it's like in the water, because it was like, like impossible to come here and not do well, you know? It's just, you've got the sky, the sky and the grass and all these other artists, and you have this great studio to write in, the Ice House, and it's very inspired. And whether I was here for a day or 30 days, I always come up with some of my best stuff here. More than anything, I'm just super grateful for the, the time and the space. It's this huge, huge gift. There's like nothing better that... Uh, an artist or a writer could ask for. I did not have an affair while I was here. I did not have an affair. I took walks. <laughs>